Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this effect using Photoshop and Illustrator. Okay, first thing, we're going to start in Photoshop. We're going to type a letter. So I'm going to select the type tool, which is located here. Type in whatever you want. I'm going to go with the letter M, scale it up, press Control T and press Shift plus Alt to scale it up. All right, go to the layers, right click on the letter M and convert smart objects. We're going to add some blur. So go to filter, go to blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm going to add seven, eight pixels. Click OK. Now we're going to go to Illustrator and in Illustrator, we're going to create some lines, select the pen tool, make sure that you're on the stroke and create a line from here, press and hold Alt, drag it down. And from here, press Control D until you create a lot of copies. Okay, select all, press Control C, go back to Photoshop and here, press Control V. You can select Smart Object. I'm gonna go with Smart Object, click OK, press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up, double click to release, and we're gonna add some blur on this also. So go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and here we're going to decrease it. I'm going to go with 2.9, click OK. And we're going to go to the adjustment layers and select threshold. And with the threshold, if you see, you can modify it. So I'm going to go some like this. And also you can change the Gaussian blur. So for example, if I increase the Gaussian blur, you're going to make it even more skinnier. I'm going to make it like this. And you can also modify the threshold again. Okay, so far this looks pretty solid. I'm gonna go to the layers and press Control Shift plus Alt plus the letter E. So it's gonna make a you know a layer out of all these layers. So I'm gonna press Control A and Control C. Now I'm gonna go to Illustrator. I'm gonna delete these lines and press Control V. And from here we're gonna go to Image tra Image Trace up here. Click on it and click on the Image Trace panel which is here. Let's see, make sure to check ignore white. So basically this is going to ignore the white background and it's going to look like this. And from here, we're going to go and click on expand. So now it's full vector. So far, this is what it is. Uh, I didn't manage to experiment more on this effect. Uh, there's like more potential in this, but yeah, so far, this is it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.